I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the parquet stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. It is really quite a pretty stitch. It's very simple to work, made with these simple shells of three double crochet stitches. It's a fairly sturdy fabric and it is reversible, so it works well for those projects uh, where you are going to see both sides. So uh, we're going to grab a hook and some yarn and learn how to crochet this parquet stitch. Thank you so much for joining me today and if it is your first time to my channel or you haven't yet already, I invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you're going to see here today. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using a 6mm crochet hook along with the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations. I'll provide links in the video notes for each of these items below uh, in case you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Today for our parquet stitch, the stitch is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making our foundation chain, starting with our slip knot. And our foundation chain can have any multiple of three stitches. So today I'm going to start with 21 chains. There's 20 and 21. You're then going to start row one by working one single crochet stitch into the sixth chain from your hook. So count in six chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, and into that sixth chain, you're going to work one single crochet stitch. Chain two, skip two chains, and work a single crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Chain two, skip two, single crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip two, single crochet. Repeat that all the way across and you should work your final single crochet stitch into that last chain stitch. You're then ready to start row two. For row two, we're going to start by chaining three and turning our work. Your chain three will count as a double crochet stitch, so you're always going to work into it and treat it as such. Next, you're going to work one double crochet into that first single crochet stitch. So at the base of that chain three, that single crochet that you're coming out of there, you're going to work your first double crochet stitch into it. You're then going to skip the chain two and work three double crochet stitches into the next single crochet. That's going to form your simple shell stitch. Skip the next two chains and three double crochets into the next single crochet stitch. Skip your two chains, three double crochets. You're going to continue that all the way across to that chain five space that was there at the beginning. One more shell here. Now I am at the end and I have that chain five. So I'm going to skip the next two chains of that chain five and then into that next one there, I'm going to work two double crochet stitches. So just into that third chain, there's one and there's two. That brings me to the end of my row two. For row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work a return row that was similar to your first one down below your row one. You're going to start by working a single crochet 
into the top of that first double crochet stitch, chain two, skip the next two double crochet stitches, and into the center double crochet of that simple shell, so you have your shell stitch there, three double crochet stitches, into that center one, you're going to work a single crochet stitch. Chain two, skip two double crochet stitches, there's one, two, you're in your middle one there, single crochet into that next double crochet. Repeat that all the way across. Chain two, skip two, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, skip two, and single crochet in the next. All the way across, and you should have your final two double crochet stitches, and then into the top of that chain three, which was a double crochet, work your final single crochet stitch. Now for the rest of that pattern, you are simply going to repeat your rows two and three. So you'll start once again by chaining three, turning your work, double crochet into that first single crochet stitch, skip the chain two, work three double crochets, into the next single crochet, skip the chain two, three double crochets into the next single crochet stitch, and repeat that all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to work two double crochet stitches into that final single crochet. Chain one, turn your work, and now repeat that uh, third row. Single crochet in the first stitch, chain two, skip two, and single crochet in the next. And that's all there is to working this beautiful parquet stitch. You can see it coming out quite nicely there. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, be sure to check out some of the other video tutorials, stitch tutorials that are there on my channel and don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again soon and until then, happy crocheting. Bye! Bye.